Marfan syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects the body's connective tissue. These tissues hold all of the body's cells and organs together. One in 5,000 people have it, but some may not even know it until there's a tear in their aorta or the valves just pull apart. Until recently, a Marfan patient wasn't expected to live to be 50. Leslie Mouton reports now some new drugs are helping people suffering with this live longer lives. Brooke Pulliam couldn't imagine her life without dance, but Brooke isn't like other 15-year-olds. She was born with Marfan syndrome. People usually comment about how I'm tall, so I usually just explain like what Marfan's is. Brooke is 6'1 to be exact. Her legs, arms, and toes are long too. Her spine is fused. Her mom knew Brooke had Marfan's even before she was born. The thing with Brooke is that we could probably tell from ultrasound pictures that she had it. Cardiovascular features are the life-threatening ones. Aneurysms can form in the patient's aorta and burst. A beta blocker blocks adrenaline and takes stress off the heart. For years, this was the only medicine available, but it can cause fatigue and nausea. Now cardiologist Alan Braverman is testing another class of drugs called angiotensin receptor blockers, or RABs. Either drug seems to slow the rate of growth of the aorta over time. RABs work differently than beta blockers by relaxing blood vessels, making it easier for your heart to pump, and they have little to no side effects. An important discovery for Dr. Braverman, his father died from Marfan's. His brother is living with it. His goal? To help everyone with it live longer. I think most, most exciting about caring for people with Marfan syndrome is watching them grow old. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.